em handling impacts and uh, handling repatriation in relation to uh, 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 um, violence, war, may be different. Uh, handling the situation ngayon in Lebanon, we've already we, we've already set up set up the uh, structure and as, as to how they will be uh, repatriated if needed. As of now, we have uh, about 738 uh, requests for repatriation, pero nagbabago-bago eh. Ito, this is one thing unique in that area. Filipinos, in spite of uh, uh, all the news dito, kung ano yung nangyayari doon, hindi sila ganun kadali uh, na mag-decide to, to come home. But if they do, we're ready to uh, address their needs uh, sa Athens, nakaready tayo to bring them there. In case, uh, yun kasi yung pinakamalapit eh, kung saan natin sila pwedeng dalhin. We, either by sea or by air. We're, we're ready. And we're also sending our uh, rapid response team if uh, more people will be needed to, to facilitate the repatriation. But one thing that we can confidently say, uh, mga ganitong crisis, uh, we're not new to this. So we can uh, professionally handle this. In Gee. fact, and very good pa dahil meron na kaming ano eh, uh, meron kami laging funds. Kahit mag-charter pa tayo ng aeroplano, kaya natin yan. Kasha natin. Ito, oh, kaya well, Chief Arnel, for example, if you are going to be repatriated, as a Filipino, do you have to pay for your airlines? Oh, or no, no, as no. you say, the... Ah, oh, lahat yan, sasagutin natin. And uh, uh, yung... Uh, May re repatriate natin. Meron pa tayong uh, financial assistance sa kanila from DMW and OWA. How much is the financial uh, assistance? DMW is giving 75,000 at kami meron din kaming package uh, of the same amount. Mm -hmm. 